Good morning, good morning, big square, road to road.com with your morning corn of Z's, your sip of coffee. I was having computer problems this morning, camera problems, so you don't get to see my lovely face, which is probably good this morning. Yes, it was a celebration dinner for the finishing of the cleanse last night. <laughs> no, I didn't completely destroy myself, but I ate things I hadn't eaten in a long time and it felt good. So there you have it. And I drank things that I hadn't drank in a long time. We did have wine. All right, let's uh, take a look at the markets. Um, hmm, why are they allowing the markets to fall right now when they haven't allowed it in a long time? Why are they allowing them to fall? It's a click of a mouse to change that. Remember, there is no such thing as a free market anymore. So, interesting. As we lead into uh, the hot zone, as I shall call it, as we call it on the road to Ruta. Um, yeah, <laughs> things are happening. And I've always said, keep your assets in your own possession and you'll be fine if you can ride out the turmoil. They might all go to zero. Most likely the exchanges will shut down, which I'll talk about an interesting uh, occurrence in a second. But yeah, they're letting the market drop. This is um, normally they don't do this. But uh, who knows? The click of a mouse, they can end it all. Welcome to the world. Uh, things have changed. Very different from what they were uh, a year ago when Trump was rigging the markets higher, saying, hey, you know, everybody believe in this fake economy. Everybody believe that uh, the cryptos are worthless. Everybody believe that the gold and silver are worthless because we can click a mouse and change the price at any moment. So they're clicking the mouse to drop the market. They're probably just not supporting it, and it will drop on its natural, massively overbought weight. So, yes, I do expect the Dow, well, if the banks go down, you're looking at the Dow will shut down, obviously, right? If the banks go down, everything shuts down. Um, they're all, all the companies on the Dow and, and all the markets absolutely rely on the fiat monetary system. So you should not have any stocks, obviously. Obviously. But that's just my take. You guys are free to do as you wish. Um, and I think now is a great time to be as secure as you can in your with assets in your own possession. Uh, interesting, again, on, on silver, they allowed it to go up 30 cents. Again, you don't see that very often. Yes, they slammed it down yesterday, right here. As you can see, that's what's called artificial manipulation. <laughs> and then uh, it, it jumped back up, not because of free market trading, because they click the mouse and they want silver to go higher. Remember, silver is the killer of the banks. Why? Because JP Morgan and friends know that silver, even more than gold, is a monetary metal. Even though the powers that be have tried to convince humanity that silver is not a monetary metal by literally demonetizing it in the 60s. Um, and people kind of forgot about gold and silver, mainly because of price. If price was booming, it was allowed to be freely traded, people would be saying, oh my God, what's wrong with the dollar? Because silver and gold are going crazy. I do think they'll go crazy before the uh, market shut down, and then they will shut down. We won't know the price. And then we're going to have to figure out a new way to exchange value, which I'll get to in a second, a second again. As far as cryptos today, still downward trend. Um, again, a click of a mouse, no big deal. We're hodlers. We can ride anything out. Uh, bigger things are going on behind the scenes in cryptos. Uh, again, Litecoin is trading what uh, three billion, two point eight billion dollars in the last twenty four hours, when the total market cap is five point one billion. <laughs> Got Litecoin. Um, and let's take a look at our one of our favorites, Veritasium. Uh, it is true they they the SEC did file a. Um, uh, they, they're trying to freeze Reggie's assets. Why? Because Veritasium is the solution to that big exchange problem. Will they win? Uh, 
Hmm, interesting. Very Tasem's at four dollars and forty four cents. I'm not saying buy. It's like catching a falling knife. I do have some buy orders in. I hate keeping money on an exchange, but I'm going to catch a couple because this is ridiculous pricing. But think about this: if Reggie wins this case, and it's in uh, I think seven more days that, that it goes in front of a judge to see if they can freeze his assets. If Reggie wins this case, which I believe he will. Um, I think it, it's, it, there's a lot of things that don't add up and especially with, like read the SEC press release. SEC obtains freeze of $8 million in assets in alleged fraudulent token offering and manipulation scheme. The SEC has announced fraud charges against a Brooklyn individual and two entities under his control who allegedly engaged in fraudulent scheme to sell digital currencies to investors and to manipulate the market for those securities. Well, it's always been Reggie's take and the cryptocurrencies take that these are not securities. Out of all the all the ICOs, I would say Reggie's is the most not like a security. So why would the SEC go after the hardest case to win? Unless there's something else going on behind the scenes, which I believe there is. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, on August 12th, 2019, the court entered an emergency freeze to preserve at least $8 million of the 14 million, 14.8 million, million the defendants raised in 2017 and 2018. Remember, the ICO ended in May of 2017. Now, 2018 would be when probably Reggie sold some of his own tokens. If you recall, Reggie put up in the ICO 51% of all the uh, Veritasium tokens. There's a hundred million tokens, and Reggie put up fifty-one million, but nobody bought them because it was before the ICO craze, before any rulings from the SEC, even though everybody was asking for it on you know how how to structure these things. The SEC refused to put any rule in in place at all until late uh, July with the the DAO um, letter. It wasn't even. A, you know, it wasn't even a ruling. So, I mean, Reggie's deal long before the SEC ever made any guidelines around this stuff. But here's the weird thing. If you look at the second paragraph, the SEC filed charges against Reggie, Reginald Reggie Middleton, a self-described, quote, financial guru. That is animus. That is putting your feelings in the middle of a press release. So you don't like it that Reggie called himself a financial guru. What has that got to do with a lawsuit? And why is it in the why is it in the release? Very strange. And remember, the SEC, they have a little group, four or five people who did this. These are people. It's, it's not the be all end all. These are people. I think they're gonna lose. Ultimately, probably won't be decided in nine days when Reggie goes before a judge or Reggie's lawyers go before a judge. And everything they're going after Reggie for is basically the purview of the SEC only if it is a security. And Reggie has shown many times that this is a software and it's pre-sales -soft, pre of a software. It's a software. It allows people to transact peer-to-peer. It's a platform. It is copy. It's a, it's got a patent on it even. And he did file with the SEC in 2014 as an exempt security. The SEC's got a lot of, it's really weird that this is coming out now. Why, why would they go after Reggie? And if Reggie wins this, voila, you've got the, you've got the, the cliff high prediction coming true that the U.S. government comes to Reggie. For advice on what is a security and how this platform is going to work. I can't even explain to you what kind of moonshot that would be. If Veritasium gets, is the first to get the green light. And that would uh, absolutely fulfill the, road, the uh, cliff high, at least part of the cliff high prediction. That um, the government's going to come to Reggie for help. And the uh, remember, the government... In this case, I think it's five people working on this case. They know nothing about cryptocurrencies. SEC has proven they know nothing about cryptocurrencies. 
The SEC filed charges against Reggie Middleton, self-described financial guru, and two entities he controls, Veritasium and Veritasium LLC. The commission's complaint filed in federal court in Brooklyn alleges that the defendants marketed and sold securities called Veri Tokens. That's the only way the SEC has any jurisdiction over Reggie. If these things that Reggie sold in his ICO were securities. So we'll find out, right? Again, this is probably the hardest one for the SEC to win as far as ICOs. If if Reggie loses this and Veritasium is is called a security, every single ICO will be taken out. That was in the US. Because <laughs> Reggie's the closest thing to is it would be the hardest case to win. And it was it, that's the weird thing. And it was before the Dow ruling, which was late July. And and Reggie's ICO ended in late May. It's really interesting stuff. But, you know, not all cryptos went ICO either back in the day. Um, Theta is a great example. Remember, if you remember back, they pulled their ICO. They did not ICO. So, yes, Theta, Theta is going to be a monster. Um, but if Reggie wins this, it is a great thing for all of the cryptocurrency space. It will shine a light on the SEC. Their incompetence, their animus, their they really screwed up the cryptos by never ruling on anything. And again, cryptos are global. So Litecoin doesn't have to worry about it. It's cryptocurrency. There's no one in charge of it. That's why Charlie Lee sold all his Litecoin. But the companies, the ICO companies, if, if Reggie loses this, they can go after any ICO. So it's a big deal, and I hope everybody knows that. If he wins it, wow. Can you imagine that? Yeah, if you don't have any very, <laughs> I'm not, this is not financial advice, and it's, it is literally catching a falling knife. But I'm just saying, if he wins, good night. You're going to see a moonshot like no moonshot. And it should be. Reggie's a good guy. Again, invest in people. Reggie's a good guy. He's going around the world trying to help people all around the world. And who's against him? The banksters. He, the Veritasium token and protocol can absolutely take out the brokerages, the stock markets, all that. 10 to 1, these people who are bringing this case at the SEC have cushy jobs waiting for them on Wall Street if they can take down. Reggie and Veritasium. I don't think they're going to do it, but we'll find out, right? So, if you if you have it, I'm hodling all my very. I've got some uh, purchase orders in. Although I hate keeping any money on exchanges, it's not a lot. I just want. I would love to pick up some very at four bucks, three bucks, two bucks, whatever it is, because I believe in the token. I think it can save us from the criminal banksters. And I see them going away and the government absolutely needing Reggie to come in and help them start a new market. That would be crazy. But it's in Clevis data that something like that happened. So yeah, I I still I, I got my Veritasium and I'm uh I would love it if it went down further and can buy a little more. But again, don't try to catch a falling knife. <laughs> but I think that it's such a tiny market. Uh, for Veritasium because the exchanges refuse to allow Veritasium be, to be traded on most market on most exchanges, mainly because um, they take the place of the exchanges, in my opinion. So that's your update on Veri. If you want more, go to RoadToRuda.com. Uh, Twenty-one day cleanse is great. It worked. I actually went in and had my cholesterol checked, and you're not going to believe the numbers. I got it right here, um, and I have a comparison number. My cholesterol value is, this is the bad cholesterol, 209, which is really good. The standard range is, uh, you don't want to be higher than 239, so I'm in great shape. But here's the funny thing. It's not funny. I had it done back in 2016. It was 289, and they wanted to put me on statin. I said, 
Sure you do. Statins mess with the brain. Literally, statins destroy your brain. Um, so I said no, and then uh, I went through the cleanse, and now I'm at 209. So from 289 to 209. There you go. 21-day cleanse right here, the second thing down. You can start it right now if you want. We're going to do it again uh, probably in January. So keep an eye out for that. Amy's got all these things in the fire, and she's doing a great job with that. Anyway, this is Bix, RoadToRoo.com. I'll talk to you later.